Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Raymond Keen and Vladimir Kovacevic. This game was played in Amsterdam in 1973. Raymond Keen had white pieces and he started with knight to f3. Vladimir Kovacevic played d5, b3, going for the Nimzo Lazen attack. Bishop to g4. Bishop to b2, knight to d7, g3, intending bishop to g2, black to move. Kovacevic could not resist the temptation. He captured the knight on f3, damaging white's pawn structure. At a cost, he lost his light squared bishop. e takes on f3, knight on g to f6 f4, e6, bishop to g2. This is generally bishop's best square. Bishop to e7 and both players cast at king's side. d3, a5, intending a4. a4 by Raymond Keen. c6, knight to d2, black to move, perhaps black and play bishop to c5, rook to e8, b5 was played. This may not be the best move and the best plan. Queen to e2. Bishop takes on a4. Rook takes on a4. This position, 5 is white. Knight to b6, attacking the rook, rook to a2. a4, rook from f to a1. a takes on b3. Rook takes rook, knight takes rook. Knight takes on b3. White is in control of the open file. Knight to b6. Naturally, black wants to bring the knight back in the game. White to move. How will you continue now? Perhaps rook to a7 comes to mind. Raymond King played f5. This is an excellent move. And black must take the pawn. e takes on f5. If something like queen to d7, then f takes on e6, queen takes on e6, queen takes on e6, f takes on e6, bishop to h3, meaning the pawn. Back to our game. Pawn takes pawn on f5. Knight to d4, attacking the pawn on f5, defending bishop to h3, black to move, g6 was played. If something like knight to g4, the knight takes on f5, and after queen takes knight, bishop takes on g4. Back to our game. We have g6. It is white to move. This is the most interesting moment of the game. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? In this position, Raymond King played an incredible move. Part of a big plane. Bishop takes on f5. What a move. And it's not so obvious what is the purpose of this move yet. The purpose will be revealed soon. Pawn takes bishop. So what did Raymond Keen have in mind? What is the follow-up? This is the follow-up. Rook to a7, sacrificing the rook. And now play with the black pieces, Kovacevic was in shock. He saw what is coming. He had to take the rook. What else if queen to d8 and knight takes on c6? So we have queen takes on a7. Knight takes on c6, forking the queen and the bishop. Queen to d7. Knight takes on e7 check. King to g7. White. Play the move in black designed. Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Raymond King played this awesome move. Queen to h5. Kovacevic resigned in view of this continuation. Queen takes knight. And then, queen to g5 check. After king to h8, bishop takes on f6 check. Queen must take the bishop. Queen takes queen check, forking the king and the knight. And then after king to g8, queen takes on b6. What a fantastic 
combination. And what a brilliant game. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.